Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, Sunday and I am headed to meet up with a couple of friends to go shooting today. <clears throat> Wanted to go shoot at sunrise, but I know one of the people in the group, Seth, I don't think can get up before sunrise on the weekends. But he's got a baby on the way, so he's going to figure out that getting up before sunrise is something that happens a lot when you get a little bit older. So anyways, kind of headed down towards the Jackson, Michigan area. We're going to uh, just do what I do for a change. I know that uh, Seth does a lot of like people shooting, you know, and Mark does landscape as well as I do, but, um, or like I do or whatever. All right, so here we are out south of Jackson, a little place called Lombard Lake, which is kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's like a wildlife sanctuary. Got Mark Miller back there, Seth back there. Seth's the uh, chauffeur for today's adventures, taking these guys out into the middle of freaking nowhere to shoot. And, uh, Mark seems to have a thing for frogs today. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know if he's uh, hungry for frog legs or what. I'm always doing a what's in my bag every day, trying to let everybody know. So let's do a what's in your guys' bag. What are you carrying today, Mark? <coughs> I've got my Olympus EM1, 40 to 150, 12 to 40, and the eight millimeter fish eye. Nice. What are you shooting with today, Seth? Uh, I got the EM1 with the 714 on it. Taking the pen, shoot the photographers. Uh, I got the 12 to 40 and my 40 to 150 also. So, uh, you said you brought a pen. You didn't bring just any pen though. I brought the pen The F. pen F with the 17 F 1.8. You can't take, you can take the street shooter off the streets, but you can't take the street shooter out of the street shooter. <laughs> you can take the street shooter into the country. <laughs> Seth is going to do environmental street shooting portraits. It's a new realm for me, that's for sure. All right, so there's where we're going. This dike that separates these two bodies of water. The one on the left, the last time I was here, was just all water, lilies, and covered up. It wasn't open at all like this, so this is kind of cool. Well, not really hiking, but walking. And so far, everybody has had a tick on them. At least one. We're a little, I don't know, I'm a little grossed out. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of a nasty experience to have 
an animal creature insect thing on your body who enjoys burrowing his head underneath your skin and sucking blood out of you it's one thing to have a mosquito poke you with a little needle it's another thing to have a tick burrow part of its body into you, In you. <laughs> disgusting so you can expect that uh we'll be getting naked shortly and checking each other's bodies for ticks <laughs> Okay, maybe it's not going to work quite that way, but there's definitely a tick check coming. We'll leave it out of video, though. Yes. for uh, This will be a family-friendly show still. <laughs> Stay tuned for a tick update shortly. So I'm on my way home from shooting with Mark and Seth today. It's a pretty cool day, you know, just cruising around out in the countryside and shooting whatever we happened across, you know, whether it was an old abandoned falling down farmhouse or some longhorn steer out in a field to turkey buzzards in the sky. I mean, we covered all kinds of stuff. It was pretty cool. Um, I suggest if you get the opportunity to do that with other people, do it, you know, just take off and whether you live in a city and you just jump on the train or subway or take an Uber to the other side of town, just get a couple of people together and just take a little micro adventure. Um, it's good for the creative spirit, I think, to get out and do that, you know, photography, even though it's an individual hobby you know like it's not like you need a team effort to take a photo but just getting out with a couple of other people and shooting I think opens up you know a different part of your creativity that otherwise wouldn't open up if you were by yourself you know I guess that's gonna wrap up today's vlog post I'm headed home right now to have a quick bite for lunch, hang out with my family, and yeah, I gotta go in for a sleep study tonight. I did one sleep study because I snore, and then I go back tonight is my second half of my sleep study where I go in and they hook me up to a, uh, it's like a breathing machine, you know, that kind of forces air into you so you don't snore, I guess, I don't know. So I need to hurry up and get home, and Get this vlog post uploaded because I won't have time tonight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope that you had a great weekend. I know I did. See ya.